This is the week that it gets to be done. Manuel Ugarte to join Manchester United as Joao Neves crosses over from Portugal to France. Welcome to the United Road Sport. Here is an update on Manchester United. And of course, we do know that one of our first signings of the summer transfer window made his debut, a very, very promising debut for the young Lenny Yoro. And after the game, up to now, this boy is still trending. People are talking about him, including the manager, Eric Ten Hag. And of course, Dan Ashworth, everyone is praising him for what looked like a confident and comfortable uh, first, uh, first game in a Man United jersey. Lenny Yoro is indeed a gem who is worth every penny that was spent on him. My name is Webb. Like this video, share and subscribe, of course, as we do keep talking Manchester United. Now, let's get into it. Now, I know that uh, many people are beginning to become too excited and carried away because of the speed with which Ineos is executing deals. In fact, Eric Ten Hag himself is in awe of the work that is being done by the team around him. He said in the post-game interview, after us beating Rangers by two goals to nil, that uh, he think the, the arrival of the new guys in Dan Ashworth and Jason Wilcox, uh, Christopher Vivo, has lifted off some pressure and work off him, which he, thought he thinks is good for him to concentrate on the football. Not that he won't have a contribution in the transfers, but he says the load is not on him. It has eased a lot on him which exactly is what part of the things we are hoping for when Ineos came in. Now, uh, this load, uh, as well, of course, that was lifted off him, has also helped Man United be able to seal deals early. If you do recall, I think in the last summer before we signed Rasmus Hoyland, Eric Ten Hag had to come back from his holiday uh, to, to, to talk to, uh, to, to be able to get certain deals done. He had to be there for some reason. He had to be there, probably because the guys who were in charge before are not sure of themselves, perhaps did not have enough contacts and and uh, connections when it came to the deals, seeing such deals and stuff. So it's very important to have the right people around. And these right people are also on top now of the move for Manuel Ugarte. The latest is that Manuel Ugarte has officially informed Paris Saint-Germain that he wants to join Man United. That in itself means he has, he has put in his transfer request saying, I do want to leave and the club I want to join is Man United. Now PSG are aware of this. They are now going back and forth in talks with Man United over a fee for the player and the expectation is not later than tomorrow. We could he, we could say big breakthrough because Man United want to get this over and done. And the beauty is, even between PSG and Benfica, there is significant progress in terms of the deal for the young Portuguese uh, international to move over and cross to France. So the deal they could agree with is expected to be around 75 million pounds. In fact, the president of Benfica did confirm that they've got a table on place, a, a deal rather, uh, a, a deal tabled by PSG for Joao Neves, and they are reviewing it. He confirmed this yesterday. This is a confirmation from the Benfica president. They said they have admitted that it will be impossible for them to get their expectation, which was the buyout clause, the full buyout clause of 120 million euros. Why? Because Joao Neves made it clear he wants to leave. He also put in a transfer request, and the club he wants to join is Paris Saint-Germain, with whom he has accepted the terms they gave to him. They have agreed on personal terms between the two. So that's exactly what's happening. So these two deals, Ugarte and, and uh, Joao Neves, whereas Man United is not trying to sign Joao Neves, United signing of Manuel Ugarte is partly and largely dependent on what goes on between PSG and Benfica. So that's a clarity that you needed to have. So you follow this, these deals together. They, they might current, uh, happen concurrently. One, after the other, when Joao Neves is sealed by PSG, Man United should be able now to, to, to effect uh, Manuel Ugarte because the personal terms for both parties have been agreed. So that's exactly what's going on now at, uh, at Man Manchester United when it comes to uh, transfers and the players being to the club. Now, Eric Ten Hag has been talking quite a lot. And uh, I mean, I, I've said it before that one of the things that I believe, and soon I'll be dropping a video about the areas that I think Eric Ten Hag has got to improve as we go into the season, uh, into the new season. With the expectation we have, the expectations we have, is not just about him having the right players brought to him by Ineos. I think even him, he has got to work a lot on himself in terms of improving himself. Just like we expect players to improve themselves, even Eric Ten Hag is not, uh, you know, perfect. He has got to improve certain areas. And we'll drop that video about what area he has got to improve. One of the things, though, are just to hint on, on what I, th I think. Eric Ten Hag has got to learn to, to, to know what to say. I feel like certain times he, 
he says a little too much and it makes it looks ugly on him it makes him look like he's a little full of himself and it's not a good thing because football there are no guarantees in football if you if you talk a lot and you're full of yourself it doesn't work it's it's going to look ugly on you especially if you're working for a big club like man united where oh definitely the journalists are always going to come out and try to scratch you and 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 bait you into saying rating out he has been talking a lot of course about how uh, anthony uh, showed what he can do in the, his first month and you don't say that about a player who has clearly failed You've over put him there, forced him on funds, but he has failed. And even if the right thing is for you to give him a chance, you don't go out there in the media and 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 uh, appear to, to 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 be forcing supporters to 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 to, to believe uh, you know in him without him you know uh, doing enough for himself. That's for me is a is a wrong thing. Certain times he has got to know when to to speak about what. For example, I like how Andre Onana was being quizzed about the last season and he's saying. Last season, I don't want to talk about it, but this season is going to be nice. And of course, that's a mature way of dodging some of these questions. I like how Mikel Arteta, and I think this is one of the things that make him a great manager. Even uh, Pep Guardiola, they know how to, to silence this media because at that level, one of the things, and I was even listening to David Moyes speaking in an interview with uh, on, on, on uh, the rest is football with Gary Lineker and... Uh, I think I was talking to Gary Lineker and and um, uh, Alan Shera and and uh, and and uh, and uh, big big mix, and he was saying you know one of the things that he doesn't miss probably, as because he's not he's, he's not attached to any club now is uh, are those interviews. Certain times these British media will corner you, especially if English is not your native language. They will corner you because they are playing in their language into speaking things that make you look bad that invite pressure on you, that invite scrutiny on you, which I think Eric Ten Hag has fallen victim of several times. My thinking is going into the new season, where we expect even more, because each and every game, these same media who are trying to advocate for his sacking, ashamed that, that, that the Ineos did not bow down to their pressures, to their concocted stories, are going to be now trying to force their agenda. Every game is going to be scrutinized. Eric Ten Hag has got to adjust how he handles the media. St st try to sound a little, perhaps, arrogant a bit on them. Silence certain questions on arrival so that when you get into the season, they perhaps even give up and start now, uh, you know, uh, being professional and asking questions that are, are not biased. But there is a certain natural bias and, and perhaps no uh, lack of appreciation for him by many uh, people in the British media. Eric Ten Hag has got to work on that. Uh, but uh, well, that said, uh, one of the things he's clear about that uh, is that uh, he feels he has got a better team now to work with that can really play the kind of football that we hope to get in Man United. And of course, we know that we are adding more players, the Ugates and the likes. And that's all what uh, that, that's what we all hope for. That's what we expect uh, because that's why this big investment has come and that's why we are all excited. And it's good. The first signing is looking sharp. And uh, that's exactly to set us off to what is expected to be a great start. So uh, where United is now, I think, is, uh, is it's a state of progress. And I would hate if Eric Ten Hag killed it for himself by him talking a lot in the media. Uh, because you don't hear managers of other clubs talking, giving away so much, because they know. Perhaps Eric Ten Hag is taking long to learn that. So this is one area that I believe is got to improve on. Besides the team, which is clearly being improved, and of course we know there is quite a number of departures that are going to happen. We know that West Ham is uh, seriously trying to uh, go for one Bissaka. I hope Man United is planning to get a right back, because if one Bissaka leaves, Diogo Dalo cannot be the only right back. That could be another glaring problem that would still slow us. So uh, we know that uh, he's he's bound to to leave. I know that uh, 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 you know players like. Uh, as, as, well, there's been a doubt about Scott McTominay because a, the expectation is that Eric Ten Hag likes him and he could start as a squad player, come on as an impact substitute because he proved that he can do that and he seems to be okay with that title of an impact substitute. Uh, then uh, players like uh, Marcus Rashford, I honestly don't see a way back for Marcus Rashford, honestly, unless we fail to find the right bidder. I think Marcus Rashford is surplus to requirements. I think... Uh, uh, players like Sancho, I don't think it's completely done for Jadon Sancho. I think there is a big chance they will also leave. He's not going to stay there and be uh, uh, and, and, and be a sec play second fiddle 
uh, to a young Alejandro Ganacho. I feel like at some point he has got to give up and say, you know what, I want to go elsewhere where I'll play football. So right now they have, uh, we've seen truce between him and Eric Ten Hag, and maybe this is going to help him be playing, and so that clubs then will come and try to bid for him. So expect a couple of departures. Uh, uh, Victor Lindelof, uh, you know, uh, uh, several clubs are linked with him. Casemiro, uh, he could leave. It's most chances are he's going to leave if Ugarte is done. So a lot is, go is, is, is going on. Uh, but I just wanted to just highlight a little bit of that, uh, what's happening and what I think going forward, Eric Ten Hag should work on. But that's it for now. My name is Webb. This is the Net Health Sport. Ch subscribe, of course. Uh, delete is also not, uh, not silent. It's not off. United are waiting for one player to leave so that they can replace. Most likely, they don't seem to have the space to accommodate him, whereas they have agreed and they are sure they will bring him. Eric Ten Hag confirmed that they, he hopes he will come because he knows what he's made of. But of course, people are too excited now with Lenny Yoro. And people will be asking, before you bring in the lead, who needs the lead when you have Yoro and Lissandro Martinez? Why not first bring in a right back or something or a left back? But anyhow, Ineos have a plan. And in their plan, we trust. Let's wait for it. This is deal week coming up.